have in the earlier weeks of the season, just like they did in the qualifiers, looking to show some promise. Can they lock in the win, though, against KT Roaster? Such a big question for these guys, such a big test for them. And KT Roaster, can they continue to say that they are in the top four, top five teams? Let's find out as we jump into game number three between LZIM and KT Roaster. To be killed at any time. Yeah, meanwhile, Roar gets caught with an all-in from Fixer. He's gonna have to jump out. Arrow also took a lot of damage. Oh, but look at this! A solo kill, and Frozen's at full health in the mid lane. Wow, Nogne didn't even use his flash, didn't use his ultimate the there. buff because he just got, Nogne just got one, and Frozen. Oh, Frozen's, oh, Frozen's level seven, actually. I guess he turned level eight, and I saw that wrong the monitor. Oh, just a nice follow through and the damage from him. He was about to use his ultimate, but the Emperor's Divide bounced back. Score now showing up in the bottom lane for a lane gang. Fixer has his flash. Roar needs to watch out. Meanwhile, in top lane, we're going to see a 1v1 duel. And looks like bottom, they're going to go in. And the flash pulverize onto Ignar. Ignar doesn't really have an answer. Oh, he flashes out, and there is the monsoon. Beats call comes in, though. And look at this someday coming in from the backside as Roar has to jump forward to help get a kill onto Score. There's the reset. There's the explosive cast. And I think Roar should be able to jump out, but a triple knockback coming in from KT, and Frozen is there, so KT has to back out once again. Nogne, once again, not able to leave the lane first. Trying to make a play. Someday, they they have the wards there. Roar a little bit low from this dragon. Yeah, the Fates Call is ready to come in, and Tucson needs to secure that. All right, they secure the dragon. They just need to get out of here. Ignar looking for a perfect monster to save his teammates. There's Alley Gale. Ignar will go down, scores on top of Roar, and look at this flank coming in from someday. Empress Divide, though, on the 2v1. There's the Equalizer to divide up the entire team of KT, but Apple and Frozen are caught behind as Roar has already gone down in the earlier phase of the fight. Frozen left all alone, and KT is going to clean up. A lot. All right, Tucson just clearing out the wards. And now, what's happening in mid lane? Oh, actually, what's happening is that Nogni is going to force the fight. The Empress of Might doesn't hit. And the poison gets the kill. Frozen spending time to channel his passive on that turret allows Nogni to get one last poison tick onto him. And Score comes in for the flank. There's a nice equalizer. Explosive cast being used. Kind of gets them off the equalizer, but at the same time, does save them to get rid of that ward. Uh, Frozen's gonna get caught under his tower there. He already used Emperor's Divide, it's seemingly onto Nagne, but it didn't hit. Frozen. And Fixer is there. I mean, Longshu cannot leave at this uh -oh. point. Oh, they catch Someday though. Someday taking a lot of damage. He's trying to go onto Ignar. Oh, Ignar flashes over and brings Someday all the way out. He needs to flash back out. A nice equalizer on the side, but Nagne gets the kill onto Tucson. Uh, Longshu responding by going very deep into enemy territory. Just trying to... Yeah, they don't have a Zir passive either, which makes yeah, this a lot Yeah, but there's an explosive cast on to score. A lot of damage. Whoa, Roar jumps way far forward. Has to use the QSS, but there's the flash pulverize. Roar taking a lot of damage. He's at half health now, and he comes in from behind, and even with the exhaust, he gets the kill with someday. There's the equalizer used defensively once again. Apple at full health, but he's a little too late as Frozen almost gets locked down. It had to happen. The Tristana had to jump forward, gets caught. Roar quite disappointed in that play. I mean, not using the banner of command as efficiently as he could have, and he's already taken some poke. Now, Roar's positioning is so important. He does still have that QSS up once again. Doesn't have his summoner, so and look at this. Tucson actually just body size forward, and he doesn't get a perfect explosive cast, but Roar is at full up. A nice equalizer in Emperor's Divide for somebody to stay on that a little bit longer. Fixer is up front with Unbreakable Will. Ingar eventually goes down as we see the Petrifying Gaze come in, and Roar gets eliminated as he just desperately goes in for some random resets, but can't get the kills, and K T Roaster will secure game three for a 2-1 win against Long Zhuaya. And that's right, KT just really capitalizing off of the positional mistakes to get that first Baron on the map, and they're able to snowball it into a win. However, I am looking a lot better tonight than we've seen him so far this season, for sure. Same could be said of Samsung. Yeah. And a, a very nail-biting win for KT Rolster, especially after that wild wow. second game where they were behind three inhibitors with zero Nexus turrets and managed to pull it back. Yeah, and you gotta imagine, I mean, that definitely had a bit of a mental hit on Longshu. You saw just how devastated they looked. Of course.